copy that, paste it there, and we're going to say if this is true, put another equals there. If um, throw gun is enabled, we want to be able to put our gun back up. So I'm going to say call gun pick up manage system. Open bracket, close bracket, and closing semicolon. Save this. Let's go back in Unity. Hopefully there's no errors. And there wasn't good. And select your script and let's attach the two missing components which are for position which is that one there and the M4A1 fab that's that pickup range I'm gonna put as two and that's fine let's see if this works I want you to keep an eye on this this part over here at the moment it's M4 so if I press T Give me one second. I've got to turn something off because I know it's going to oh, it's off already. Okay. Let's continue. So I press T. The animation plays. The gun is chucked away. Now, look what happened. Why on earth is it two guns? And if I press 1, what happens? Watch this. My gun comes back. But we don't want that. Now watch this now. If we throw it, throw it away and keep pressing T, this is what happens. That's because that variable we made called M4 null is a check system. Now, if it's true, that means we have the gun enabled. So we can switch it back and forward. But if it's false, we can no longer do that. At the moment, the system doesn't know if it's true or false. So that's what we're going to set up next. So we're going to go back to our no gun mode system, which is over here. And just underneath this, I'm going to say m4 null equals false. This lets the system know that the gun we had before is no longer available, so we can't switch back to that. And I want you to go to the keys, the keys command part, which is over here, and on line 330 on my one. I'm going to put after this piece of line, I'm going to put an an m4 null equals equals true. So only if m4 null is true, I can switch to my gun. If it becomes false, I cannot. One more thing to do. If we scroll all the way down to this function over here, underneath this, we're going to say m4 null equals true. So once we pick the gun back up, make it become true again, so we can switch back to our gun. And that's it. That solves that error issue. Also, copy this function name and paste it in the update, the very top. The reason today is pretty simple because if we run the game, we won't be able to see our pickup line. This will just show us it. So that's a good thing. And that's it. The gun management system is pretty much done. All right. Let's see if this works now. So previously I could press the key rapidly and it will keep making duplicates. Let's see what happens now. There we are. Brilliant. So I'm hitting this. Can I pick it up? That's pretty far actually. I should change that to... I should change that to 1. Save that. Alright, I'm pressing it. Oh, it's doing a duplicate. Why? You can chuck it away. And I can't go back to the gun, so why is it still making a duplicate of it? That's interesting. Just double checking something. Okay, now I stop. Maybe because I lag or something. I don't know. I'm normally gonna do that anyways. Okay, so if I go next to this, press E. I can pick it up, but I don't destroy it. M41 Fab. Is it capital F to the put or lowercase?
I don't put fab in this, that's fine. Save it. Now it should work. Okay. I actually can't see what's happening over here. There we go. Picks it up and destroys it. I still don't know why it's duplicating it. That's strange. Let's see if it happens again. Okay, now it didn't happen. Ah, that's strange. It only happens if you look at something. The problem is, because it's duplicated twice, it's going to destroy that next, and then it's not going to destroy this one now. See? I don't know why it's doing that. It's really stupid. Alright, let me have a look at this as a code. Maybe there's something screwed up in there. I think I'm have a solution actually. Let's go to the very top. And let's make a key press timer. I think key double taps itself sometimes. So I'm gonna just make a simple timer and see if that solves it. So I'm gonna say um throw time. Open bracket oops. It's gonna be float equals to zero. Throw cooler. So for throw cooler. And it's going to be a float equals to wait how many seconds? About five seconds. Okay. Well, 0 0.5 seconds, sorry. Alright, so let's go down to the key press event, which is over here. And above this, I'm just going to say if open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace. Closing curly brace. If throw timer is equals equals to zero, then we can throw it. And then at the same time, I want to increase the throw timer. So that's gonna go after the animation. After calling that, I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna say throw time is going to be equals to throw cooler like so save that copy this name or actually copy this if statement go to the update function and let's make a barrier so it can't go above zero or less than zero so paste that once put the closing semicolon oh. Closing curly brace, paste that, closing curly brace, just chain this to lower than, just chain that to greater than. Alright, and then all we're gonna say is throw time equals oh that's a great then minus equals time dot delta time and then for this one paste it there and put it as zero and hopefully that should fix it if it doesn't I should look into that a bit more yep 
Yep, it fixed it. It was a key, it was double tapping itself, so that's solved. Good. And now if you press 1, because of that variable called M4 now, we can no longer switch back to a gun. So if I go pick this up, it becomes true. I can switch to hand to hand and I can switch back to my gun. So if I throw it away again, I can no longer do that. Yep, and you can see that simple problem is fixed as well. The key was double tapping itself, so to avoid that, just do what I just did. So yeah, that's it guys. And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And I shall see you in the next tutorial where we shall be covering C4s. Take it.